Hi, my name is Because Becca, and I'm making this video because whew, Watch Your Entertainment released a video titled Goodbye YouTube, and I want to talk about it with you guys. This is a new style of video for me, so if you enjoy this, please let me know in the comments and maybe we'll do more. You probably already know what's going on because you clicked on this video, but just in case, Watch Your Entertainment is a YouTube channel that makes a lot of different shows from Ghost Files, which I believe is their most popular. I went to Ghost Files live last year, have been a big fan of Ryan and Shane since the BuzzFeed Unsolved and BuzzFeed Supernatural days. I think most of us who have been fans for a long time are there for the friendship between Ryan and Shane, and now they've created a lot of different kinds of shows. They've got Too Many Spirits, and they've got their survival mode, which I also really enjoy, and a bunch of other things that I haven't even actually watched all of it. Um, they released this video explaining that they're gonna be leaving YouTube and they're going to be doing all of their new content on a streamer that they are making as well as archiving all of their old content and putting it on the streamer so you can't even watch their old YouTube videos anymore. Why are you running? Why are you running? Now there's a lot to discuss here, but I think all of this comes down to a pretty simple problem in my mind, and it's something I wanna talk about with you. So, I'm gonna watch a little bit of their video. We're not gonna watch the whole thing, but we're just gonna watch a portion because I feel like it really highlights the key issues that I want to discuss. The key issues, like I'm a reporter or something. This is not formal, this is just me chatting. Here we go. Over time, the deals that we were getting in 2019, 2020, are looking a lot different than they are today. We're making something for two audiences. We're making it for the fans, all of you out there, and we're also making it to please the advertisers. It's difficult to make the stuff that we wanna make and also then appeal to the advertisers as well. First point, the reason they are switching to a streamer is because of advertisers. They don't want advertisers to be controlling their content. They were saying how advertising, AKA sponsorships, you know, when YouTubers are like, hey, this video is sponsored by, and you're like, skip, 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 skip. Uh, that part pays pretty much most of a YouTuber's income. And for them, they said over 50%. Um, however, that usually comes with some sort of control over your video on what you are are allowed to do and to not do in order to make it advertiser friendly. Um, they don't want that control over their content anymore. They wanna make a certain style of content. They have ideas for content that we may, may not even know about where they do not want advertisers to have that control. And I don't think there's anything wrong with wanting that. All right, let me let them continue so we can talk about another point. Put things on the screen that we feel adheres to a certain level of quality that you would find on say a Netflix or something like that. But in doing so, it, it does cost a certain amount. Like for example. Okay, so he goes over some costs for like Ghost Falls episodes, comes to like hundreds of thousands of dollars. And this point I wanna talk hundreds about. Hundreds of thousands of dollars. I'm not sitting here complaining that is the bed we've made. Everyone has different missions they're marching towards on YouTube. Ours was to make a television show. And you know, over time, you start to realize like, hey, maybe television shows aren't meant for YouTube. Perhaps we should find a different place that's better suited to the content that we're making. Point number two. So point number one was they don't want advertisers to control their content. Point number two is Ryan seems to make it very clear that his mission has always been to make television level quality shows. It seems to me that he wants to make a big production company. He wants to make, turn this from a small YouTube channel, not small, but like, you know, small business sense YouTube channel to a large production company. And potentially having a streamer fits more in those goals because maybe they want to, he even says he wants to, you know, get new talent and make new shows. It seems like he wants to make this big production company. And there's nothing wrong with wanting that, especially since it's clearly been a long time goal of his. Um, you know, I can even relate for my own self. You know, there are videos that I have that do well, that aren't necessarily, or like well for my channel, <laughs> let's be clear, um, that do well that aren't necessarily the type of video that is my long-term goal, like the thing that I want to make forever. So if I make a different style, people might come and be like, that's not what I subscribe for. And then, you know, maybe you saw this video and you were like, that's not what I want. I don't want her talking about things. I want her only reacting to them and goodbye. And that's fine. That's totally up to you as well. I feel like YouTube and uh, creative career should be a place where you are pursuing your goals and your aspirations because otherwise, why not just go work for any other job if you're just going to do stuff you don't want to? I think where the big disconnect comes here 
is this to me feels like kind of a oh, like a sad breakup on both sides because on this side you have watcher and watcher has goals and aspirations beyond youtube wants to make a production company makes wants to make high quality content and not be controlled by advertisers and then you have the audience and the audience over here is like all we cared about was ryan and shane to begin with uh, we just want them sitting in a backyard getting drunk and talking to each other because we like their friendship. Just give us that. We don't want this extra money stuff. But then over here, you have people with real career goals and things that they want to accomplish. But then you have the audience that supports that career goals. But if you get rid of the support part, you have one person who wants something over here and one person who wants something over here, but they love each other, you know? Ryan and Shane, I'm sure, love their audience. And the audience has loved Ryan and Shane. And I'm leaving Steven out only because I haven't watched most of his stuff. Um, side note, comments have been super mean to Steven. Don't know what he did to deserve that, but I haven't really watched his stuff, so I won't comment on Steven at all. Anyway, and to me, it just feels like that point in a relationship where you come together and you realize you want different things, and it's just not going to work out. And that may or may not be the failure of Watcher because ultimately they need an audience to support them. It depends how many people in the audience are willing to support them. You know, when Disney Plus first came out, I was like so mad <laughs> because they took like all the Avengers movies and Disney movies off Netflix. And I try to, like everybody else, try to keep my subscriptions pretty small. Nobody wants to have payments on something forever. Um, and unfortunately, it seems like everything becomes a subscription nowadays. When Disney Plus first came out, I was like, I hope that fails. <laughs> I was like, because I'm mad that they took my Disney movies from Netflix and I can't watch them anymore and I don't wanna get a Disney Plus subscription. And to my surprise, Disney Plus did really well and everyone that I know, like, that does subscriptions now just has Netflix and Disney Plus. Um, I don't personally have Disney Plus. Uh, they are Disney though. I'm not sure Ryan and Shane and Watcher are, you know, to the level of, of Disney being able to keep their business alive. One of the biggest issues that people are also having, um, and also is something that I feel like is just not a good move, is the fact that they are going to be archiving all of their old content as well and putting that onto the streamer. And I'm not sure why this is because the old content already had sponsorships. The old content was already made for those advertisers. So I don't really see what makes the difference in just leaving that content on YouTube versus taking it off and kind of forcing people if they even want to watch the old episodes to go and get a subscription and see it there. Um, I'm not really sure what went into that decision, but it, it's one of the main things that if they do decide to not do any of these new actions, I, I hope it is that one, that they at least leave the old content up for free on YouTube. However, I don't really know what the successfulness we will see of this um, streamer that they wanna do as just a human to human. I hope to see them achieve all their goals and dreams and everything they want to do. I've seen a lot of people calling out saying that they are being greedy by doing this. I disagree on that because I think the greedy thing to do if you were really greedy in their shoes is you would change your content, you would do whatever it takes to get the most sponsorships and the highest sponsorships you could, and you would not care about the levity, level of quality that you're making or what you're making because you're just trying to make the fastest buck that you can. And we see plenty of YouTube channels doing that as well and being very successful with that. Ultimately, the goal for them has been clear that it's about the quality and it's about what they wanna make. And to me, that's not greedy. One thing that Shane does say at the end of the video is that you can share the streamer. So, you know, if you're someone who really wants to um, potentially support the streamer, but you're not in a financial place to, maybe grab a few friends. Right now it's on sale for I think $40 a year, 40 US dollars I should say. Um, you know, grab five friends or something like that and split the yearly cost and then share the password with each other because they said you could share it. <laughs> he did say that in the video. Ultimately, nobody is forcing you to support this. I know that if you love them and you don't wanna support it for whatever reason, that is obviously, that's your own prerogative. I just think that both sides are valid. Ultimately, everybody is different in what they want to get out of YouTube and what they want to do. But what do you think? I know that there's a lot of intense emotions around this. I'm not sure if this was the best way for them to try to reach those goals or not. 
Whether it is or it isn't, I'm sure that they will learn from it. I'm honestly hoping the best for them. But I can also understand why so many people are upset. I think most of the reasons that people are upset is pretty valid, except for the ones that were just being mean. Like comments like, I can't believe I uh, ever supported you guys after you've done this to me, just feels a bit odd to me. Did you know that I'm not just a reaction and commentary YouTuber? I have a whole other channel called Because Becca, where I make all kinds of creative and artsy songs and little things. You should definitely go check it out because I'm gonna have some new stuff coming out for that. And if you're someone who's been around and you're like, where the heck did all the gaming content go? We have moved back to Because Becca Games in order to just keep things organized. So we'll have Because Becca for all of my artsy and original content. We'll be right here for all of my personal commentary and reactions. And then we have the gaming content over on Because Becca Games. Uh, we have some new videos coming out on the Because Becca Games, things that I'm really proud of and I think are really funny. So please go check that out if you like gaming. Let me know what you think in the comments and uh, that's it because it's over. Bye.